Hi everyone, today we're gonna to talk at the whiteboard here about one of the hottest, highest demand vehicles to come through the Toyota pipeline in perhaps decades. This is the RAV4 Prime. I'm gonna tell you how it works and answer specifically some of the questions that you've been asking me on my Toyota Jeff YouTube channel. I think this is gonna be beneficial. I hope it helps. Now the first thing we need to ask ourselves is exactly what is the RAV4 Prime? There's a Prius Prime, and now a RAV4 Prime. That means that you have the traditional hybrid components. You've got a gasoline engine, and then you've got electric motors, and they're working in combination with each other to provide the most power, the most performance, and also the most efficiency. When you're going at higher speeds, it's gonna use more gasoline. When you're going at lower speeds, or parking lot speeds, we'll call it, it's gonna use potentially more electric, or almost all electric. But now we've got this extra component, we've got a plug-in part. So that's what makes it prime. What you have is on the driver's side, you'll see the fuel door, that's where you fill up with gasoline. On the passenger side at the rear, it's a very giant door on the RAV4 Prime, that's where you actually plug in, you can use uh, the charger or the plug-in that comes with it, and that actually plugs into either 120 volt, 240 volt, or the extra supersize volt, we'll call it for now. I'm gonna explain more about that in a minute. Now, when you have that plug-in capability, what that means is, let's say the daily commuters or a mom in a carpool lane or a dad in a carpool lane, you just wanna go a short distance, less than say 40 miles, 42 miles, you can do that on one electric charge. In other words, you're gonna be using all electric. You're not gonna be using any gasoline at all. That is very exciting. So imagine the possibilities that opens up now that you have that plug-in charge capability. So what does the gas mileage do? On a RAV4 hybrid, we'll say, that's gonna average 40 miles per gallon, MPG, not MPGE. What you have when you have MPGE is Toyota found a way, or any manufacturer finds a way to calculate traditional gas mileage along with that extra boost of electric. So now we've got the possibility where we can get 94 MPG. So let's say you go 42 miles on one electric charge or 30 miles or whatever, but the battery runs down, the charge runs down. So now you go 42 miles. So the next 20 miles of your trip is gonna be done in either hybrid mode or just all gasoline mode. That's going to lower your statistics, but you get an astounding 94 MPGE. That is ridiculous crazy, and you will see savings at the pump, and it is so easy to plug in. Now, since you can plug it in, a lot of people have a question of, do I need to have extra hardware attached to my garage or anything like that to charge it in, to plug it? Actually, well, yes, you could do that, but you don't need that. What I mean by this, let's look at the charge times on the RAV4 Prime. How do we get that 42 mile charge, we have to plug it in. So three different ways to plug this in. You can use a standard 120 volt grounded outlet, and that's gonna take about 12 hours to charge. So imagine you come home from work, 5, 30, 6 o'clock, plug it into your garage. When you leave for work the next day, it'll be charged. So you've got 42 miles to go. You can also get the upgraded 240 volt charger, and then it's going to, look at this, 4.5, four and a half hours is what that can charge. Now, you can also get the upgraded 240 volt 32 amp, which is double this size, and then you get the lightning quick charging time of two and a half hours, which is pretty remarkable. So how do you do that? The standard onboard charger on the RAV4 Prime SE and XSE, without a specific upgrade package, 3.3 kilowatts, and that's what gives you these charging times you see here. But if you get the premium package on the XSE, it gives you a whole abundance and wealth of extra features, upgrades, safety, technology, convenience, a whole bunch. It's over $5,000 upgrade, but it is so worth it. Like that's what I would get. But look at this. You get one of the upgrade is to the double 6.6 kilowatt onboard charger and that's what allows you to do charging times in your garage or at work or in the parking structure 2.5 hours my friends lightning quick 
Now let's find out how much each trim level costs and how do you get your name on the waiting list to get one as soon as possible. Supplies will be limited, my friends. So we have the SE and the XSE, and then what I call is a, we'll call it an honorary third trim level. That's gonna be XSE with the premium package. So the SE, that's gonna have a factory MSRP before it gets delivered to any dealerships. Factory MSRP of 38.1, or we'll call it 38. XSE is gonna be about, we'll call it $1,300 more, about 41.4. But if you want that premium package, and a lot of people will, it's gonna be an extra $5,700 no, $5,760 to be exact. $5,700 more. So now we're adding together this plus this, and we've got a vehicle that's going to be around $47,000. So let's say you've gotten really excited about one. How are you going to get one? Because supplies will be limited. How limited? I'm told that most dealers will get an average of one, maybe two, for the whole entire year from now or next month until the end of 2020. That doesn't leave a lot. Most priority is gonna be given to states that already have emissions regulations and incentives for plug-in electric vehicles like this. Look for California to get a lot more. Maybe states in the Northeast were gonna get a lot more, things like that. Unfortunately, I'm in the Southeast United States. We're not gonna get very much at all. We don't, we don't have that, we'll call it that pipeline or that logistical system set up in place. So. That's bad news for us. It's bad news for people in the Midwest as well. So here's how you get it. First of all, learn the pricing, learn the trim level that you want, know the color scheme that you want, the options, and I would be flexible. In other words, if you only want a silver XSE with premium package, you may be waiting a long time unless your dealer has a silver XSE with premium package it's gonna be really tough. So learn those prices and be flexible. Let's say that you might take a red one or a blue one or a silver one or a white one. You just don't want a black or a red. So now we've opened up the possibilities for your dealership and that helps you get one a little bit quicker. And then talk to local dealers. Find out if they have a procedure or a process in place for taking deposits. Some will require non-refundable deposits. Some will require deposits. Trust me, the dealers right now don't know their allocation, so they do not know if they're getting one, if they're getting two, or 20 or 30 or 50 before the end of the year. I would also suggest going, I'm so sorry, small dealerships, I would go with the larger dealerships because they may have a better chance of getting a bigger allocation based on previous sales and the potential to sell them as quickly as possible. Build up that demand, maybe we'll get more coming out of Japan. Now the next question you might wanna ask yourself is what colors can I get a RAV4 Prime in? So there are gonna be seven, see my dirty fingers right now because I'm writing on the board, seven right now colors to choose from, different combinations of SE, XSE, and then a little special option I'll tell you about in a minute. So two of the colors are gonna be the white and pearlescent white, super white and blizzard pearl. Then we're gonna have the blue color, blueprint, supersonic red, that bright cherry red that you see in the pictures, silver sky metallic, magnetic gray metallic, and midnight black metallic. Now look at this. Some of these colors, I gave little asterisks. I wonder what that means. So, come over here. This means, come right over here. If you have an asterisk, that means that this is available in the XSE and XSE premium, or XSE with premium package, with that two-tone black roof. Notice that from the XSE hybrid, you'll see the two-tone black roof. So now let's go over here again, and I'll tell you why some of them don't have it. Number one, Blizzard Pro was the chosen one to have that two-tone black roof, so that eliminates super white. They don't need two different shades of white with the black roof. And then we've got Blueprint is available, Supersonic Red, Sky, Silver, and Gray, Magnetic. But black on black is not gonna be an option, so you're not gonna have that bright, um, that glossy black roof with the glossy black paint as well. I guess it won't show up, uh, show up, stand out quite as much. A little tongue twister there, guys. Keep rolling, keep rolling. So, which color do you choose? Now the question we ask ourselves is, why do we want a RAV4 Prime? What's so special about it? You've got a RAV4 gasoline, you've got a RAV4 hybrid. The RAV4 hybrid gets an amazing 219 horsepower, which is Pretty significant versus the gasoline option, that's 203 horsepower. But imagine if you could get 302 horsepower, that's faster than the V6 Camry, the V6 Avalon, that trusted, reliable V6 engine, faster. And what do you mean by that? Well, zero to 60 time, 
5.7 seconds. That is the second fastest Toyota that Toyota makes right now. Can you believe that? The RAV4 Hybrid has a zero to 60 time of about 7.9 seconds. So, I mean, this thing really is so much swifter, so much zippier, so much quicker. And how does that help you? Well, in real life, if you're going up a hill, you can do it better. If you have to pass somebody on a two lane road when it's necessary, boom. What about when it's a green light and you're trying to race that Prius Prime next to you? Wait, don't do that. Kids don't try that at home. But look at this. And remember, we're going back to this statistic. The gas mileage is unbelievable, 94 MPGE. It'll be fun to hear everybody's anecdotes and personal, anecdote, anecdotes, oh my God, I can't say it, anecdotes and personal stories about how they are utilizing or optimizing that fuel mileage and what they're really getting, or in layman's terms, how little they're spending at the pump over one month, over two months, over six months. Imagine if you just got smart and wise and efficient with how you use this, Whoo, plug in all the time, save money. And then 42 miles on one electric charge. That doesn't mean you need to use it the whole time. And by the way, when we talk about the electric charge, they'll be on the multi-information display. There's gonna be a display and it says how much your driving range you have left. Total driving range, it might say 540 miles. But then it says electric range. That's gonna mean how much you have left in just electric. It might be down to six miles or 22 miles, but when you have the air conditioning on, it goes down just a little bit. So it shows you this is what it is with the air conditioning, and this is how much you have left when you have the air conditioning on so that you can see how your use of the HVAC system is going to affect how many free miles, we'll call it, you have left. Whoa. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope it was helpful and you learned a little bit. These are some of the questions that I hear most often on my YouTube channel. And speaking of that, if you haven't gone to my YouTube channel yet, I have, I think it's 674. This will be 675th video on my channel. So we do Toyota reviews, we do how to's, we teach you more information about upcoming models. I think this is gonna help everybody. So please hit subscribe. I think you'll find the channels fun. We don't do boring car reviews here on the channel. We try to make it fun and interesting. We can be singing uh, Toto Africa while I'm telling you about the RAV4 Prime. Gonna take a lot to drag me away from you. See, I just did it. Didn't know I was gonna do that. Or maybe we'll sing Michael Jackson, Paul McCartney. The girl is mine, the girl is mine. See, we don't wanna do that. I might cut that out. But anyway, point being, subscribe to the channel. It's different, it's unique. Be part of the community and let your voice be heard. Thank you everyone, I appreciate it. I also write for Torque News, so torquenews.com slash Toyota is where you'll see my more in-depth reviews, how-tos and comparisons, things like that, breaking news. Thank you guys so much. See you next time. Woo, we did it, folks. We did it. This is like the end of Saturday Night Live when everybody starts hugging each other. Six feet away, of course. Hugging each other, high-fiving. We did a good show. I'm rambling. I'm out.